a portion of this video was sponsored by Riverside. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these ink drop transitions. Let's go. So this particular effect was from my latest cinematic film, What We Seek. If you haven't watched that, then you can check it out via the link in the description below. But this works really well when you have two overhead drone shots and you're trying to match them together in a creative way or with a creative transition. The first clip here is an overhead drone shot at the beach and the second, the two girls walking over this rocky sort of outcrop. The other thing that you wanna do is when you're filming with your drone you want to try and keep it at the same height or distance away from the ground and you want to try and match the camera's speed and rotation and all of that sort of stuff so you don't have to add a rotation in when you're filming it the other thing is when you've got your two characters walking you want them to try and be roughly in the same position but i'm going to show you how to kind of line that up now what you can do is start with the first clip and just create a new composition so then what i want to do is just drag my second clip in over the top now it helps if you just hit T on the keyboard, I can scale down the opacity. And what you really need to try and do is if you zoom in here, you'll see that you wanna try and make or line up the two actors for that particular shot. Now you can do that by using your rotation tool. You can scale up and down the clip to make it fit, but basically you're trying to get them to line up really nicely. The better you can line up those two characters, the better that transition's gonna be or more seamless. Once you've got these edges, you can easily fix that by just adding a motion tile, and then you can just basically expand out the edges and mirror, and that's just gonna hide that edges. But this is where it helps to film a little bit wider or a bit higher with your drone, so you've got more space to play with, and then you can zoom into that so you could essentially just take these two clips if you didn't want to get that excess and just basically zoom in here and then to fill that screen. Now, before we move on, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Riverside. Riverside is a platform that allows you to record studio quality remote podcasts and video recordings from anywhere. Now, I've not only been using Riverside myself, but it's used by more than 70,000 people, including companies such as Spotify and the New York Times. So let me show you quickly how it works. Now, the best part about Riverside is you don't have to download any software. You basically just log in through your web browser and all of this is done through a very simple and easy to use interface. Now, what makes Riverside different from the other services out there is that it records super high quality video on each participant's computer and uploads those recordings simultaneously at the same time to the cloud. And then the full upload will finish just moments after that recording is done. So once you finish that session, then you can basically just download those high quality files straight from the cloud. Now this is great because if you have low bandwidth or you've got really bad internet connection, that quality is gonna go really, you know, really low quality. So this way you get the highest quality recording and you can edit that later. So the way they set it up is you have basically a host, you can have a guest, and you can also have a producer and an audience member. So for me as the host, I'd wanna host the session, then I can invite different guests into that session. So they'd be people that I might wanna interview. The other great thing is I can have a producer, so someone who's not in the video recording, but they're basically sitting externally and they can control all the different aspects of that recording while it's going through. Now, I personally tested this out using one of my friends and it was so easy to do because all I had to do is just hit this invite button here and it automatically just sends them an email with all of these instructions on how to do it. So it makes it super simple as far as they don't need to download any software they can just access it. The other great thing is you can set the video quality that you want to use. So you can record up to 4K resolution and that's gonna record, as I said, on their computer and then upload those super high quality files to this Riverside cloud. So once I've got it set up, all I have to do is just basically enter in my host that I want to do and I can start this session. You can see that now I've got a basically a session ready to go and I can just invite people all within this really simple and easy to use interface. Now, once I've got all my recordings, all I need to do is just go in here to view all the different recordings and I can see the recording and all of the different files laid out here. So I could just download those individual high quality raw video files, which I can then just drag and drop straight into my video editor and I can just lay out my edit exactly how I want it 
and that way it gives you total control over all of that. Now, what I personally love about this and why I would recommend it to people over other programs out there is that it's a one-stop solution for all of this stuff. So if I'm doing a masterclass one-on-one -on -one with someone, I can have that conversation face-to-face -face, and I can also share my screen, but I could also do a group coaching. So I could also have other people come in and record all of that in this one place. But even better, I have access to those high quality files that I can just simply just come in here and download whenever I'm ready. I can then send that to the different participants and they can re-watch sections or even I can use sections and insert them into my videos. Now, if you're interested in checking out Riverside yourself, you can use that link down in the description below and check it out today. Now, the other side of it is your need to basically use an ink drop. Now here, I have this ink drop that I've sourced that fills my entire screen and you're gonna need something like this because the black part is what is going to be become see-through or transparent. So you need it to basically start on full white, which means that you can't see anything. And then as it fills the screen, we're gonna have that full transition. The one that I'm using is a paid one and there are really good ones out there. But if you really want that better professional results, then you wanna source a paid one. Otherwise you can use free ones out there. Now, once I've got that, I'm just gonna drag it on top here. I'm just gonna roughly line it up here and scale it up to fill that screen. And then I'm gonna drag my number one layer up. So that's my first clip here. So it sits underneath that ink drop. And then I can basically just hit this toggle mode switch to bring up the track mat settings. And I wanna set this to be the luma mat of that layer. And you'll see as soon as we do that, we've pretty much got that effect playing out. Now what I'll have to do here is probably just retime this ink drop so that it lines up better. The other thing that you might need to do is take that number one layer and just duplicate it and drag it to the bottom and then just set this to have no track mat. And what that'll do is it'll basically allow us to see what's behind that because at the moment that there's no mat there. So we need to basically have that underneath so that we can see that clip and then we want it to transition once it gets to that point. Now, one thing you notice here in the ink mat is that it doesn't move or doesn't rotate with the camera. So you could just leave it like this and it looks absolutely fine, but it would be nice if we could also rotate that as well. So what you can do is if I come down to the transform properties here, I could create a bit of a rotation keyframe here. I wanna rotate this down like this and that's going to match you'll see the rotation of that clip behind. So it looks like it's essentially stuck to that second clip, which is what you want. What you can do then is basically just scale this up and that's gonna hide that edges of that transition. And then you can also create a new adjustment layer here and you can move that underneath. And to this, you could also add, if you come down to color correction, you can add basically the Lumetri color and you could just add a bit of a color grade. Now, if you wanna add LUTs, you can add that under the creative tab. And if you want some free LUTs, I've got some which are linked in the description below there, free download. And I give you five different LUTs that I've created and then you can use them. You can just drag and drop them straight in and then just adjust the intensity slider. And then you can also just do some basic color correction to that. Thank you to Riverside for sponsoring this video. You can check them out via the link in the description below. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you love this video, you might consider subscribing to this channel. If you like this sort of content, you can check out more videos just like this over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.